Hello everyone, I'm Rupert Goff from Mortgage Lab. Today I'm talking about the Credit Contracts and Consumer Finance Act and how it affects property buyers. The Act, called Triple CFA for short, came into force on the 1st of December 2021. It was largely meant to protect consumers from high interest loan sharks, but unintended effects of the Act have flowed into mainstream mortgage applications for home buyers, upgraders, and investors alike. So, what is the Triple CFA? The Act effectively increases the liability for the directors and senior managers of lending companies. They are now personally liable if borrowing is shown to be irresponsible or deficiencies in the lending process are found. A fine of up to $200,000 for each breach is possible. As a result, banks and other lenders have tightened their application process. They're combing through every small detail to make sure their process is correct. Now, is having senior management and directors liable a good thing? Well, when it comes to loan sharks, yes, it absolutely is. If you're trying to lend people money at 30% per month, which, by the way, is an actual rate which one of our clients was paying, then you should have your head on the chopping block if it's deemed you were stitching up your clients. Is it good for the directors and senior managers to be personally liable when history has shown that they were highly aware of not lending to vulnerable people, such as in the banks? I don't think so. There are better ways such as to audit where the banks have been irresponsible with their lending than simply having them go to totally risk off. In addition, the new Act is more prescriptive in what lenders must ask for when assessing applications. Under Triple CFA, lenders must make various inquiries into whether the applicant can afford the mortgage without enduring hardship. To that end, there are additional requirements to verify documentation received. Calculations by the banks must include reasonable buffers and reasonable surpluses, but the Act doesn't detail how much these might be. And in fact, the only way for a bank to be sure of what is reasonable is at some point in the future when they are hauled in front of a regulator and promptly fined. The problem is that with senior management's personal liability at stake and no clear indication of what a reasonable surplus might be, the banks have had to go beyond the mark to ensure they are safe. For example, Triple CFA requires banks to compare applicants' expected expenses against statistical benchmarks to check whether they are reasonable. A couple may have childcare expenses of $40 per month because of a family arrangement. However, if the benchmark is $250 per month, the bank must use this expense. In addition, it was previously understood that home buyers' spending patterns would change once a house is purchased. Once a mortgage is in place, items that tend to be more luxury orientated, like daily coffees and multiple takeaways, would be reduced so a mortgage could be paid. But with the new regime, a bank must be confident that an applicant's expenses are under control. That means taking the last three months of spending and calculating affordability based on that. So in order to present yourself as a good applicant, you need to demonstrate that after all expenses except rent, your income can still cover the mortgage you are applying for at approximately 7% per annum interest rate. As for current homeowners, if no material change is ever made to your mortgage, then the triple CFA restrictions don't apply. However, any change, whether it's an alteration to your revolving credit account or a small interest only adjustment, would mean a complete review of your mortgage to make those changes. A lot of people will find that the mortgage they could afford two years ago is no longer within their reach. But don't worry, you won't lose your current mortgage if you apply for a change and get declined under the new conditions. Given the current challenges under Triple CFA, non-bank lenders are likely to get a lot more popular. These lenders may charge a slightly higher interest rate, typically 1-2% to higher than main banks, but may well be the only option for many in the near future. The problem with main bank lenders is that the management is so far removed from the actual staff who are assessing the mortgages. There could be five or more levels of employees between the directors and the branch staff. As a result of this, strict guidelines must be in place. For non-bank lenders, there may only be one or two levels from the directors to the assessment staff. This may mean that they could take a more hands-on approach to assess each application on its own merits. Remember, we don't know what a reasonable surplus is. However, senior managers can make that call individually with small lenders. 
So has the triple CFA gone too far? In short, yes. Under the previous legislation, the mortgage assessment criteria was largely agreed to be responsible already. Mortgages were assessed at a much higher interest rate than was being paid at the time of settlement. Expenses were taken into account but were dealt with rationally. A tightening of the availability of finance could mean a significant swing in the value of properties. Take the buyers away and the prices could drop by a lot. While other levers are in place to also increase and decrease the availability of finance such as loan to value ratios or debt to income ratios, these levers can be easily turned on and off to adjust how much people can borrow. The triple CFA is difficult to adjust quickly and could significantly affect how many people can borrow to purchase a house. As to a solution, at the time of recording it's a matter of watching this space. A parliamentary petition has been set up for the government to take on board feedback and to give some clarity to the banks. The political pressure for change will likely only increase as more people are impacted. I've covered the triple CFA here very briefly, but if you're considering getting a mortgage or making changes to an existing mortgage and you have concerns about the triple CFA, Mortgage Lab is here to help. Thanks for joining me.